guys, it's uh, May 18th, 2018, and I just wanted to pop on here a little bit. We're heading into Gemini season, and uh, being a Gemini myself, I tend to have a little bit of love for now, but I also know that uh, it can be an unpredictable time. You've got a lot of changes, summer kind of coming around the corner, spring ending, um, and because there are two of us, what I'd like to focus on right now is duality and the importance of not only being able to see how beautiful we are inside and out. Sorry, my battery. Okay. Um, but also, sometimes we have to confront the monster in ourselves. Right, this uh, next couple moons and the solar flares that have been happening have been causing a lot of havoc on people's lives. We've been hit with so much intense energy. And I feel like if you've been riding the wave and you've been doing the work and making the changes, now is the time to integrate those changes. So we had to restructure, for me, if you've been following my path, restructuring last month on how we do certain things to get what we need. Now it's time to integrate, stand our ground, in those choices, decisions, actions that we've put forward. Please be aware, again, with duality. This is something I feel is important. Um, how we manifest and where we put our energy. Uh, you could look at light and dark magic, right? The force is with you. Are you on the dark side or the light side? When we have a lot of excitement and energy into a project and we put it out and we exude it and we're vibrating with that, that's creative, constructive energy. When we're angry and we're putting out angry pot, right? Like when you're letting that out, that's still energy and it's still creative energy, but it's destructive as it creates, right? It creates chaos and destruction and negativity. And as I say that, here comes the, oh, please cleanse me spirit and allow the negativity to go away. Um, but over this next little while, please just be wary of your duality within yourself. Honor your shadow side. Honor, honor the dark by acknowledging it. Look at that monster in the mirror. Do you like it? If you don't, how can I change it so I like and love what I see in that mirror? Um, Okay, so I just want to do a little bit of a uh, reading, just kind of, I've got some past life cards, uh, what I'd like, uh, Dorian Virtue, just going to do one thing for the season of Gemini coming up, that this month, if you're resonating, you may have uh, some karma that you need to work through for some past lives, and this could even be like different time periods within this life. Um, okay, so here we go, Spirit and my team of light. Could you please give me one card for anybody watching this? Ton, uh, just a heads up on where we may be looking at some healing. So I'm just going to take, oh, here we go. Male, female. Again, what did I say about embracing dualities? So this particular one, this male, female, is really about um, honoring the male, uh, the masculine and feminine within ourselves and balancing out those energies. Um, the same with the positive and the negative energies that we get out, uh, we put out there. So this means not only being able to get things done and uh, kind of being able to see things detached in logical brain, but this also means emotions um, and stuff like that. So that is something that in Gemini season you're going to be looking at uh, the dualities, the masculine and the feminine, and doing that. So also, what I'd like to pick is the energy oracle. I'd like to pick um, a card, please, spirit, to help get through this, uh, any blockages and balancing out our male and female dualities. Please, oh, there we go. One card, please, spirit. Oh, it wants to. There we go, thank you. Hostilities. So, um, again, duality, there can be so many good things and there can be so many bad things. And this comes with our speech as well, our actions. Um, during times of hostility, please pay attention to your reactions. So this kind of goes with that monster in the mirror I was talking about. How, do you gonna, how are you going to treat these hostilities? That's something you need to figure out. Are you going to, oh, there's some crows. Uh, talking they've been all on me today, but if there's hostilities coming in around you um, Please just be aware again of It you don't have to go about it 
destructively, you can kind of find a way to make this creative and come at it with unconditional love, meaning you're still going to love the person no matter, no, sorry, no matter of the outcome and detach from it because, you know, regardless, you can't control anybody, right? So there's one, another one. And I want to pick this. I call it the Alice deck. It is, um, I think it's Nicoletta Sis, I don't know her last name, but it's pretty cool. So one card, please, um, to kind of give us an idea of what to expect in this month as well. Um, spirit. Oh, two. Okay, so the King of Cups and the Moon. Um, so, bouncing out our male and female elements, coming to the point where we can be the King of Cups. No matter if you're a woman or not, but you can be grounded, right? She's carrying all this stuff in this stormy sea, but man, she still loves herself, right? There are parts of her. There are parts of this water, and this this little dude in this boat, he's going to get to her, right? He's... It doesn't matter. He will ride the waves of this sea to get there. They're kind of in the same point. They're one, right? Balancing it out so that you really can be the king of cups. You can come to everything in your life full, like with a full heart. And there may be some secrets, um, some things done um, that you're going to see. Maybe some reflections again with this um, that you may not like duality as well. There's some sage um, that you need to really look into. If you follow tarot, um, look, you you know look in more into this or whatever resonates for you because some of us we have our own little storylines going on here, right? Uh, okay, so one last card and I will make it brief. It's from the Archangel Gabriel uh, deck, and I would like to see oh, something flew out here editor so I've had that before sometimes I need to edit my speech so um, if there's hostilities as well edit yourself before you start talking okay um, <clears throat> spirit can I have one message we're gonna end with a constructive one I'm going to put those back. Uh, for this collective of people watching my video to the end, and thank you, um, to make it through Gemini season. Time management. Yo, Geminis, we are flighty. Um, we bounce from one thing to the other. Hard to get projects done because blah, blah, blah. It's really hard to get what we're trying to say out in a way that makes sense. Um, so, as well... You have a lot of projects at once, maybe in the next little while, because it's so chaotic, and air is so chaotic, right, as it moves constantly. So go with that, but you need to be able to make sure that you manage your time. So place your priorities at the top of your to-do list, and don't allow distractions to deter your focus. So if you need to clean your house, clean your house before you play your game, before you go outside and do all the other stuff. If that's a priority to you, do it. Um, um, if your priority is to not yell at your kids today and you don't want to see anybody, you can refuse to answer your door. If your priority is to make nice with people, sorry, figure out that monster in the mirror, take a, a good look and, uh, work on that whatever that priority is maybe it's the job right focus your energy on that what you focus your intention on is so important make sure it's constructive um, anyway I just wanted to say thank you again and uh, hmm, make sure you ground yourself in the next little while again because Gemini is so airy um, and you see storms come in when the